Have you ever felt a deep longing in your soul? A yearning for something more? A desire to connect with our Heavenly Father in a profound and intimate way? I want to share with you today about a special time, a sacred hour that can transform your spiritual life. It's the fourth watch, the period between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m., when the veil between the physical and spiritual realms seems to thin, and God's presence feels so close you can almost touch it. Now, you might be thinking, but I need my sleep. I can't possibly wake up that early. I understand, my friend. Our bodies crave rest. But let me ask you this. What if by sacrificing a little sleep, you could gain so much more? What if in those quiet, pre-dawn hours, you could hear God's voice more clearly than ever before? Throughout the Bible, we see many figures who chose to rise during this time to connect with God. King David, a paragon of faith, wrote in Psalm 5.3, In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I lay my requests before you and wait expectantly. This is no mere coincidence, for the fourth watch is a special period when the boundary between the physical and spiritual realms seems thinner. Not only in Christianity, but in many other religions, the fourth watch is also revered. In Buddhism, for instance, the period from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. is considered ideal for meditation, and monks often rise at this hour to still their minds and connect with the universal energy, showing the consensus among spiritual traditions about the importance of this special time. As it is written in Lamentations 2.19, Arise, cry out in the night, as the watches of the night begin. Pour out your heart like water in the presence of the Lord. The significance of the fourth watch lies in several aspects. First, this is when the world around us is at its quietest. There is no noise from daily life, no distractions from work and everyday responsibilities. In this silence, our souls can more easily hear the voice of the Lord, for as we read in 1 Kings 19.12, the Lord was not in the wind, not in the earthquake, nor in the fire, but in a gentle whisper. The stillness of early morning creates an ideal environment for prayer and contemplation, and when our minds are not yet swept up in the whirl of daily activities, we can focus wholly on connecting with God. This is when we can most clearly hear our inner voice, and through it, discern the guidance of the Lord, for as it is written, Be still, and know that I am God. Psalm 46.10 Second, many believe that this is also when the forces of darkness are most active. St. Paul reminds us in Ephesians 6.12, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, waking up at this hour to pray is not only to seek guidance, but also to protect ourselves and our loved ones from negative influences. In this spiritual battle, the fourth watch becomes a crucial time for us to put on the full armor of God, as Paul advised in Ephesians 6, 13-18. By rising and praying at this hour, we are proactive in spiritual warfare, building a protective hedge around ourselves and our families before starting a new day, heeding the words of Christ. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Matthew 26, 41. Moreover, the period from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. is also closely linked to dreams and subconscious activity. Many psychologists and dream researchers believe that this is when we tend to have the deepest and most meaningful dreams, and in the Bible, we see numerous examples of God communicating with people through dreams, such as in the cases of Joseph and Daniel. So if you often wake up at this time and remember your dreams vividly, it could be God's way of trying to convey a message to you. Recording these dreams and praying about their meaning can open up new and profound spiritual insights, just as it is written. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. 
your old men will dream dreams. Acts 2.17 Given the significance of the fourth watch, what should we do when we find ourselves awake at this hour? Here are three things God wants you to do when you are awake between 3 or Kamase. M and 5 a.m. 1. Engage in fervent prayer against the enemy. My beloved, we must acknowledge that while God uses the fourth watch to bless his people, the adversary also seeks to pervert this holy time. The devil and his minions are active during these hours, attempting to undermine God's work in your life. This time is sometimes referred to as the evil hour, for it is when the enemy sows seeds of destruction. Our Lord Jesus confirmed this in Matthew 13 verse 25 saying, But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. This is precisely why God awakens you. He desires you to be vigilant and defend your spiritual territory against the enemy's schemes. Remember, dear ones, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4 One of the most potent weapons in your spiritual arsenal is midnight prayer. Our Lord rouses you so that you may wield this mighty instrument before the enemy can gain a foothold. God has chosen you to be a watchman, not only for yourself, but for your loved ones as well. Recall the words of Ezekiel 33 verse 6. But if the watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow the trumpet to warn the people, and the sword comes and takes someone's life, that person's life will be taken because of their sin but I will hold the watchman accountable for their blood. If the Holy Spirit has been prompting you to awaken during the fourth watch, you must heed his call, for the well-being of others may depend upon your intercession. You have been entrusted with the sacred duty of standing guard over others. You cannot afford to slumber. As you engage in spiritual warfare, strive to recall your dreams upon waking. The Lord often uses these visions to guide your prayers, aligning them with his divine will. Cultivate a heart of gratitude, thanking God for the new day, his promises over your life, and the privilege of being chosen as his watchman. 2. Commune with the Almighty. During the fourth watch, when you find yourself awake from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m., seize this opportunity to enter into deep fellowship with our Lord. Remember, you are on a spiritual watch, and it is during these quiet hours that your spirit is most receptive to divine communication. The stillness of the night creates an atmosphere conducive to hearing God's voice. Job 33 verse 14 to 15 reminds us, For God does speak, now one way, now another, though no one perceives it. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls on people as they slumber in their beds. During these sacred hours, God imparts specific instructions and seals them deep within your spirit. To fully receive these divine messages, you must engage in meditation. Give your undivided attention to the Lord. You need not leave your bed, but simply lie still or sit up, acknowledging His presence. This is not a time for multitasking, but for focused communion with the Almighty. As you meditate, humbly ask God to speak to you. Seek His guidance on specific matters in your life. You will begin to perceive His voice more clearly, receiving divine insights about your business, finances, loved ones, and even future events affecting your community or nation. In the silence of these early hours, your spirit will become attuned to the spiritual realm, allowing you to discern the movements of God around you. You will gain a deeper understanding of his instructions and be able to differentiate his voice from other influences. During this time of fellowship, the Lord may grant you interpretations of previous dreams or provide solutions to long-standing problems. Divine inspiration for your endeavors may flow freely as you connect with the source of all wisdom. We see this pattern in the life of our Savior. Mark 1 verse 35 tells us, Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house and went off to a solitary place 
where he prayed. Our Lord sought these quiet moments to reconnect with the Father and receive fresh insights for his daily ministry. If we follow his example, we too will be continually refreshed and empowered for our work in the kingdom. The fourth watch is also a time for spiritual awakening and renewal in your walk with God. As you faithfully commune with him during these hours, you will experience an open heaven in your relationship with the divine. As you meditate, be diligent in documenting everything the Lord reveals to you, including your own thoughts and reflections. Feel free to present your concerns before him and wait patiently for his response. 3. Declare blessings over your day. My dear brothers and sisters, never underestimate the power of your words. As Proverbs 18 verse 21 reminds us, the tongue has the power of life and death. You have the authority to speak life over yourself and to rebuke the things that trouble your heart. Sadly, many believers fail to exercise this God-given power, inadvertently giving the enemy an opportunity to afflict them. I urge you not to let this happen. Harness the power of your tongue to shape and bless your day, and there is no better time to do this than during the fourth watch. After you have countered the enemy's schemes through prayer, begin to sow seeds of blessing with your words. Speak God's promises over your daily activities through prophetic declarations. Proclaim victory over every enchantment and evil scheme of the adversary. Through your words, you can command the very elements of creation to work for your good. Recall the example of Joshua in Joshua 10 verse 12, 13. He spoke to the sun and moon, commanding them to stand still as Israel battled against the Amorites. Remarkably, these celestial bodies obeyed, remaining in place until victory was secured. Have you ever had your carefully laid plans disrupted by unexpected circumstances? This need not be your experience any longer. The fourth watch is a time to realign the events of your day according to God's perfect will. Like Elijah, who held back the rain for three and a half years through the power of his declarations, you too can shape the circumstances around you. Your words carry immense power because our faithful God honors the declarations of his children. Now that you understand your role as a spiritual guardian and how to maximize this special time with the Lord, you must also learn to sustain this divine connection. I want to encourage you to try waking up at the fourth watch, even if only for a few days a week. Use that time to pray, listen, and write. It may be hard at first, but I believe you will soon realize the immense spiritual benefits this habit brings, for God is always ready to meet with us. He is waiting to speak with us, to guide us, to bless us. And the fourth watch can be the door to the deepest spiritual experiences with him. Consider the example of young Samuel in 1 Samuel 3 verse 9 to 11. Initially, he could not discern God's voice and mistook it for Eli's. Only when Eli instructed him to listen attentively did Samuel receive God's message about the great revival he would bring to Israel. God can speak to you about any matter he chooses. Familiarize yourself with the unique ways he communicates with you and remain attentive to his voice. During your times of meditation, study the Word of God diligently. Listen for specific scriptures to which the Holy Spirit may draw your attention. Open your Bible and reflect on its teachings, seeking divine insight into areas that may be unclear. In Psalm 63, 1 David wrote, You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. Let our souls thirst for the Lord in this way, and let the fourth watch be the time we seek and meet him each day. I pray that as you begin practicing the habit of waking up at the fourth watch, you will experience God's presence in a new and powerful way. I believe this will not only change your personal life, but also positively influence your family, work, and community. Remember, 
Each morning when we rise to meet with God, we are participating in an ancient spiritual tradition, a tradition that has nourished the faith and strength of countless believers over many centuries. We are stepping into the stream of God's grace and presence, a stream that can sustain and guide us through every challenge and opportunity in life. Finally, I want to remind you that God loves us unconditionally and He desires a close relationship with us. The fourth watch is not a duty or a burden, but a precious opportunity to experience His love and presence. Embrace it with joy and gratitude. May God bless you as you embark on this new spiritual journey. Amen. And let us hold fast to the promise that we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Romans 8.28 As we conclude, let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of the fourth watch, for this sacred time when we can draw near to you without distraction. We are in awe of your desire to meet with us, to speak to us, to guide and bless us. Forgive us for the times we have neglected this precious opportunity. Renew in us a hunger and thirst for your presence. As we commit to rising early and seeking your face, we trust that you will meet us there. Speak to us through your word, through your still small voice, and even through our dreams. Give us ears to hear, hearts to understand, and wills to obey. Transform us in these morning hours. Make us more like your Son, Jesus. Equip us for every good work you have prepared for us. And may the light of your presence in us shine brightly in a world that so desperately needs to know you. We dedicate our mornings to you, Lord. May they be a sweet offering, a fragrant sacrifice that brings joy to your heart. And may the effects of this time with you ripple out into every area of our lives, bringing blessing to all we meet. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus, our Saviour and King. Amen. Dear friends, I hope this message has stirred in you a new desire to make the most of the fourth watch. It is not an easy habit to start, but I assure you, it is one that will yield fruit beyond measure. As you begin this journey, remember that you are not alone. The Holy Spirit is your constant companion and guide, and you are part of a global family of believers who are seeking God's face in the early hours, just like you. Let us encourage one another in this practice. Share your experiences, your struggles, and your breakthroughs. Let us spur one another on toward love and good deeds. And most importantly, let us keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. It is His presence we seek, His voice we long to hear. May He be glorified in our mornings and in every moment of our lives. I pray that the Lord will bless you abundantly as you dedicate the fourth watch to Him. May He satisfy you with His love, guide you with His wisdom, and empower you with His strength. And may your life be a living testament to the greatness and goodness of our God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us hold fast to the promise. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him and He helps me. My heart leaps for joy and with my song I praise Him. Psalm 28-7 This message has been a call to reclaim the fourth watch for the Lord. It is a call to prioritize our relationship with God, to seek His face above all else. It is a reminder that in the busyness of life, we must carve out time to be still before the Lord, to listen to His voice and to align our hearts with His. As we conclude, I want to leave you with a final challenge. Start small, but start today. Set your alarm 15 minutes earlier tomorrow morning. Spend that time in prayer, in reading God's word, in listening for his voice, and the next day do it again, and the next. Gradually, you will find your soul craving this time, longing for it like a thirsty deer pants for streams of water. And as you faithfully seek the Lord in the fourth watch, I believe you will see a transformation, not just in your mornings, but in your whole life. You will find strength for the day ahead, 
You will gain wisdom for decisions that need to be made. You will experience peace that surpasses understanding. And you will know deep in your soul the joy of communion with your Creator. This is my prayer for you, dear friends, that you would know the blessing of the fourth watch, that your mornings would be filled with the glory of God's presence, and that your life would be forever changed as a result. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, now and forevermore. Amen.